Buckle up, this is a controversial one. You are watching right now the most important VA claims video that I have ever made. Stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you exactly why so many veterans are falling short for their VA disability claims and how to go about it drastically differently, okay? Veterans, this is a cigar chat because we're gonna go over some things that a lot of people in this space do not like to talk about and more importantly, let alone hear about, right, as a veteran. This is gonna hurt some feelings. I'm not here to call your feelings. I'm here to get you the results no matter any means necessary. So here's a consolation prize, handmade cigar, light body. Enjoy that. Here we go. The theme of this, and really VA Claims Academy in general, is that there's two ways to go about your VA disability claim. Number one, I call it checkers. And number two is chess. This motif, really this metaphor is the whole metaphor and motif behind VA Claims Academy. You're gonna see my logo is a chess knight, right? I'm gonna show you exactly why that is. And you're gonna see clearly that, hey, a lot of veterans, maybe even yourself in the past, were going this checkers route when really we should have been playing chess the whole time. So let's get right into it. Number one, if you want an above average result, you're not gonna be able to put in average effort. Here's what I mean. Veterans are doing what every other veteran does. You have veterans that uh, hear you know, tips and tricks from their in-service members, their fellow service members. They probably have great intentions. However, they're not you know, experts. They got out, they may have claimed a few things, they may have gotten 70%, 80%. Here you are at 0%, you're thinking, wow, that's amazing. Uh, I should listen to this person. I'm gonna go with a free VSO, right? People flock to free because they're not thinking about costs, they're thinking about price, more on that later. But if you're doing what everyone is flocking to, by definition, you're doing the average thing. Most veterans are struggling with the VA, sometimes for decades, okay? It's not a good spot to be in. If we are going along with the herd and we're participating in this group think, then by definition, we are doing the average thing and we're gonna get average results. That is the checkers way to do it. Going with these free VSOs, okay? and being number two, which is passive. Hey, I'm gonna let this uh, VSO handle this for me. I'm gonna let them look at my medical record, and this is the part that gets people upset, right? If this kind of in line, uh, if this resonates with you, please hit that like button, because we're gonna get a lot of dislikes here. I'm gonna be passive. I'm gonna let the VSO handle this. Tell me what I have on my medical records. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just submit my claim, and whatever the VA decides, oh, that's, that's what I'm gonna have. I understand. It's the battle that we're unprepared for. We thought the fight was over when we left the service. However, it's not. On behalf of our families, we need to not be passive. We need to not be average on behalf of our families because this VA disability income is number one, the income you deserve and that we agreed to when we signed this contract. But two, it's the most important income of your entire life and your family's life. Putting bread on the table for your family. Number three, the way to play checkers is being concerned with price. Now, of course, the guy that has a, a premium boot camp to sell you is gonna talk about, oh, don't care about price, right? Of course. However, you should be concerned with something that we're gonna get onto the other end, but price alone should not be the deciding factor for how you go about your VA disability income it's just insane because clearly for instance if you're going to buy a stock your first instance your first question is not going to be oh how much does it cost per share no you're going to ask okay what's the company like how is this going to be benefit me what do they pay dividends so people who are concerned with price don't even worry about it don't even worry about it i don't even try to sell to people who are so concerned with price because i know that they're not going to invest in themselves and get the result here we go this is gonna upset some people. No responsibility. How many times have you heard this? Or maybe even we've said it ourselves. Hey, the military didn't tell us, uh, they encouraged us not to go to the doctor. Oh, back then no one went to the doctor. Okay, I understand that we're trained a certain way. However, do we have responsibility as our own men when we get out to think for ourselves and more importantly for our family? to put food on the table? The answer is yes. Okay, mommy and daddy aren't here to teach us that we need to go to the doctor 
and that we need to file our claims the correct way. Uh, we need to file taxes. You know what I'm saying? At a certain point, I understand we were taught a certain way, we were trained a certain way. Uh, even the older generations, of course, e it was even more prevalent. They break you down and whatnot. But at what point are you your own man thinking for yourself? Okay. This is the checkers mentality. Oh, I don't have any responsibility. Oh, see, I'm so messed up, but the VA denied me. Oh, silly VA, stupid VA. Oh, and then you complain about it, right? Which is fine. However, there's no action because there's no responsibility a lot of times. People get comfortable just complaining about the VA rather than learning their game. Okay? It's called perspicacity. Checkers, I'm sorry, chess, you have perspicacity meaning you recognize and you're aware of the fact that, okay, I gave the VA my reality, they rejected reality, and they replied with something different. Ah, I see, you're playing a game. I've got to learn this game and beat you at this game. All right, and we're going to get into that. And the final one is just overall flaccid, okay? Wet noodle. This is just, again, Accumulation, uh, accumulation of all this, average, passive, worried about price versus cost, and taking no responsibility, it's flaccid. You're going to get blown around with the wind, you're going to get bullied by the VA and life in general. Okay? <laughs> I told you, this, this video is going to really <laughs> make some people upset. I'm just trying to get it to you real, okay? I'm just trying to be real with you. And this doesn't mean you. You who are here watching this and trying to better yourself are actively not in this column, okay? Here we go. Here's the chess side. Here's what we teach here at VA Claims Academy. Being average, we have to be what? Extra ordinary. More than ordinary. That means that if the average people are going to VSOs who are over swamped, have too many veterans, and a lot of you know that I coach a lot of VSOs, teaching them how to handle their veterans. But you're gonna be average, okay. Here, we invest in ourselves to be extraordinary because it is the most important income, what? Of our family's life, that's right. From passive, the way to play chess is to be aggressive, okay. What does that mean? That means being proactive, that means being relentless. Um, there's a gentleman named Dale uh, who recently got 100% permanent in total in the VA Claims Academy private uh, premium boot camp. And you know what? He was hitting me up. He said, hey, uh, here's my personal statements. Go ahead and um, you know go over these with me. I was giving him personal statement templates. He's like, okay, well, how do these look? And it was like, you know, some people would think, oh, that's bothering you. No, I love that. He's being aggressive. And that's why, boom, within three months, 100% permanent in total straight away. Number three, rather than being concerned with price, we need to be concerned with what? Cost. Rather than being concerned with price, we need to worry about cost. How expensive is the free service, the free VSO, that gave you 20%, 30%, even just 10% less than what you deserve? Okay. How, what does that cost over the long term? You getting paid less than what you should have been paid every single month, combined with inflation that is, by the way, higher than what the CPI is reporting, okay? So we're losing value, you're losing food off your family's table every single month. But hey, guess what, you had a low price. The price was free, but what did it cost? No responsibility. The way to play chess is complete ownership. complete ownership, meaning you are responsible for your low rating. The VA, but you know, you had reality and the VA denied reality and said, oh, there's no evidence of blah, blah, blah. Guess what? Complete ownership means taking, hey, you know what? That's my fault. I should have learned the game. Clearly, this is not done on reality. This is done via a game. I'm going to learn the, the game, learn the sports, learn the gamesmanship. What is the easiest, most efficient way to learn a new sport? Let's say I had to learn basketball to play one-on-one -on -one tomorrow with an NBA-level player. What am I going to do? Guess what? I'm going to hire a coach. Not just any coach. If I hire someone who is seven foot five and they made it to the NBA, that's cool, but I'm not seven foot five. I'm going to hire someone six foot my height, or less, five foot eight that made it to the NBA. You know why? 
because they have a strategy, they have techniques that have caused them to go to the NBA, okay? I know that by their results, being my height, being in my scenario, or worse, that they know what they're talking about. I recently went, a couple months ago, I wanted to incorporate kettlebells into my physical training. You know, I had some back pain, things like that. So guess what I went out and did? I found this book here, you know, that's not even in circulation hardly anymore, way overpaid for it. But I follow the experts because guess what? There's things that I didn't know that I didn't know in here. And I follow the recipe. I didn't try to go look up free kettlebell swing videos on YouTube and things like that. That's great. But you're shooting in the dark. Go ahead and cut the check and pay for coaching. Michael Jordan had a coach. All the top CEOs take sales training. This is what it means to take ownership and to be extraordinary. The final one here, playing checkers means you're flaccid, okay? We're gonna be steadfast. That means stay on target, okay? And be able to adjust. Rather than simply taking the VA's word for it, taking their decision, when the VA gets it wrong or we get denied, we hit a wall, guess what? Sidestep and we hit from another angle. This is what it takes to defeat the VA. This is what it means when I say chestnut checkers. This is why the logo is a chess piece and knight. This is why the packages on the premium boot camp are, you know, expert, master, grandmaster. It all ties into this specific mindset. And truthfully, this is why I do not like taking clients and don't take people who are in the checkers mindset. Because guess what? No matter how good the training is, I can provide them with the fully written personal statement templates and this mindset will get you destroyed. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Share this with other veterans who need to know this. There's gonna be a lot of dislikes and a lot of offended people here, but most of you who are out here looking and trying to actually educate yourself and take ownership are really gonna enjoy this. And I think this is gonna ring, uh, ring true for you. As always, the link is down in the description below for the premium online bootcamp if you're interested in that. Otherwise, please check out Combat Craig has a premium bootcamp, um, but just please do not go for these free services, especially if you need a high rating because they're not gonna do it for you the right way a lot of times, okay? And that's just honest. Vets, I hope you enjoy this. I'll see you next time. Cheers.